Did you know your Polaris Sportsman uses halogen fog light bulbs in all three headlights? Today, in this video, we're gonna fix that with the Morimoto two-stroke LED headlight bulbs. We tested several different LED bulbs to figure out which ones fit, connect with your wiring, have the right beam pattern, and are brighter than what you started with. Some of the bulbs that we had were actually less bright than the original halogen bulbs. Other bulbs didn't clock the right way, so we got a weird beam pattern. And some of them didn't have a long enough wire harness to reach your factory headlight wiring. The Morimoto Two Stroke 2 was the best option overall in our headlight revolution test. That's right, you heard me. Your sportsman has fog lights for headlights. How are you supposed to see where you're going in the middle of the woods if you have these little tiny 880 style halogen light bulbs? These are literally fog lights in most car and truck applications where they were used. Luckily for you, the Morimoto Two Stroke 2.0 line of LED headlight bulbs has an option that works perfectly. Normally, this 880 LED bulb would be used in a fog light application on a car or truck, but because it fits the 880 that your sportsman has, we're gonna get four to five times more light output out of your stock headlight housings just by swapping out the bulbs. Not to mention, it's also gonna give you a better color. First, I'm gonna show you the beam patterns and how much more bright the Morimoto bulbs are, and then we'll talk about how to do the install. This is a super simple kit, and when you buy the kit from Headlight Revolution, you're gonna get everything you need to do the install in your truck. We're gonna give you both low beams and your high beam in one easy to install plug and play kit. If you like what you see, stay tuned to watch Adam do the install. First, let's start off with your original halogen low beam on this Polaris Sportsman. This is pretty much what I would expect from two reflector headlights using halogen fog light bulbs. Come on, admit it, this looks like a fog light. Now when we swap the old bulbs out for the new LED headlight bulbs from Morimoto, we get an increase in brightness of 387%. This is insane. Think about the difference of what it's gonna be like in your next off-road adventure, going from your old dingy yellow headlights to these new LED bulbs from Morimoto. But it gets better. When we flip on the high beam, that third headlight on the top turns on and we get even more light output and it's multiplied when we go LED. Here's what your original high beam looks like. You can see a bigger increase in light beam pattern. You can see the high beam beam pattern is brighter and larger than low beam. So it's working, but it's still a pretty pathetic high beam. Check out what happens when we swap out the old bulbs with LED. Now we're talking five times brighter. This is a 400% increase in brightness over your stock bulbs, and it's way more usable than anything else on the market. The Morimoto Two Stroke 2 is the obvious choice. Don't screw around with your own testing. We already did it for you. We recommend this bulb in the Polaris Sportsman because it works the best. Hello, I'm Adam from Headlight Revolution, and today we'll be installing some Morimoto Two-Stroke 2.0 bulbs into this Polaris Sportsman. First thing you wanna do is take off the top of this Polaris. What you're gonna to wanna to do is undo the strap right here. There's one on the other side. It's pretty simple to do, just lift up, pull back. And the same thing for the right side, just lift up, pull back. Now we're gonna lift up the top, and the next step is to remove the storage bin. It's pretty simple to do, there's two locking tabs right here. So we're gonna turn them each way. Now you can remove the storage bin, just lift up and pull out. To remove the stock bulbs, what I like to do is remove these stock harness first, because this is very short, doesn't give you a lot of play. This is two tabs on the side, and just wiggle them out. Next, we're gonna install this Morimoto Two Stroke 2.0 LED bulb and the adapter for the harness. The next step we want to do is to make sure the LED chips are properly uh, clocked. What you want to do is make sure they are at the 3 and 9 o'clock positions. If you're not sure what the LED chips are, they're the little yellow cubes on the actual bulb themselves. Let's give it a little adjustment until they're facing just like that. And we'll do the exact same steps on the other side. Now that you've installed and tested the bulbs, you may notice that the harness is a lot longer than it used to be. 
So to keep it from dangling, getting caught in the suspension of the wheels, I suggest tucking it in the front. And then you wanna get some zip ties, and I suggest zip tying it to the bottom of here, so it's not interfere with anything. And we'll repeat the same steps for the other side. Just take this and tuck it away. Get your zip tie. There you go. Now that you have the harness tucked away, you want to put back the storage bin. Just align it like that. Press down and lock your tabs into place. And then you want to lower the top. And now we can move on to the high beam. Now we have the low beams installed. You can tell they're a great deal brighter than the original bulbs. The next step is the high beam. The first step for replacing the high beam is to remove the cover. There's four torque screws on there. You have one here, one here, one here, and also one on the other side. And let's get taking that cover off. All right, next is the final two torque screws. We got them right here, right here. Let's remove those now. And just remove the front cover. And it's set off to the side. Next up is to remove the headlight adjustment screw and this rubber fastener. And there's also one on the other side. And then lift up to remove the housing. Now that we remove the housing, the next step is to remove the bulb. Just twist out and then remove the fastener. Now we're gonna pop in the bulb just like in the other housing. And give it a nice little twist and it's in. Next we're gonna plug in the fastener, just like so. Just like on the low beams, they have excess wiring right here. I would suggest is zip tying it to the main harness. Simple as that. Now that we've tested everything and make sure the bulbs do turn on, then the final step is to put the cover back on and bolt everything back up. Don't waste your time and money testing other bulbs at Headlight Revolution. We do the testing for you. Trust me when I say the Morimoto Two Stroke 2.0 bulb that we have in our sportsman specific kit is gonna work the best. You're not gonna have any issues with beam pattern, with install, with fitment, with brightness. Take it from me, this is your best bet. Go find this product and more Polaris lighting upgrades at our website, headlightrevolution.com.